are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Friday, January 8th. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather cold and dry over the weekend. Then Monday, could it be rain, sleet, snow? That's the next big forecast challenge. So let's talk about it. Here's the upper air look. The cold core upper low, a little east of the state, but it's a cloudy and cold day. There's the visible satellite view. Clouds cover all of Alabama this afternoon, and temperatures just going nowhere today. Birmingham only at 38, Aniana 35, Cullman 36. Uh, we'll see gradual clearing late tonight. Many spots will be in the mid to upper 20s early tomorrow morning. To the east of Alabama, we have winter storm warnings in effect for parts of western North Carolina. And off to the west, winter storm watches for parts of Texas and New Mexico. That's for the feature that will affect Alabama on Monday of next week. Here's the severe weather outlook through tonight. No thunderstorms across the country. Tomorrow, maybe some thunder for parts of Texas. And on day three, which is Sunday, the chance of thunder for parts of Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, but no severe weather expected. And this is the Winter Storm Severity Index for Day 3, which is Sunday. And you can see that a fairly high-impact winter storm could affect parts of Texas, with the main impact a little west of the Dallas-Fort Worth area back up toward Lubbock into New Mexico. Precipitation for the next seven days. Amounts are relatively light across the Deep South, under a quarter of an inch for Alabama. The moisture somewhat limited Monday, but still there could be some winter weather impacts. So let's get into modeling. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 3. One wave off the Atlantic coast. The next wave digging down through the four corners in the southwest United States. But we're in between those, so tomorrow will be cold and dry. We start the day in the 20s. The high will be in the 40s. The sky partially sunny. Sunday, we're still dry, partly sunny, upper 40s. And there's our winter storm off to the west, affecting parts of Texas. And then Monday, the system comes in here. And the question is, what's going to happen? Will it be rain, sleet, snow, or a mix? Uh, this is suggesting the better chance of snow will be over Mississippi in the northwestern corner of the state. The European in pretty good agreement. And of course, uh, you know, critical thickness values at this point make all the difference in the world. And that defining the rain snow line at this point will be pretty tough. This is the NAM, the 12 kilometer NAM, valid Monday afternoon at 3, suggesting snow in areas north and west of Birmingham, rain south and east of Birmingham. Uh, this is the probabilistic outlook from the GFS and the chance of greater than one inch of snow is still 10 to 30 percent over northwest Alabama. The European more aggressive with the prob probabilities exceeding 50 percent over northwest Alabama. So the better chance of getting snow with this feature obviously will be over the northwestern part of the state. Uh, Florence, the Shoals, maybe as far south as Hamilton and Haleyville. Uh, for the rest of the state, it's mostly going to be a cold rain. But understand at the onset of this, early Monday morning, we could have sleet or freezing rain for a brief time, and that might create some driving impact on bridges and overpasses down into parts of central Alabama. So just watch the weather carefully over the weekend for updates on this. Uh, but again, for the most part, a cold rain for the state, the better chance of snow, the northwest counties on Monday. Tuesday, the system is on by, a clearing sky, uh, the high in the upper 40s. This is Wednesday. We're back in the 50s. Thursday, pretty good pop of cold air coming down. You can see that cold front north of the state. We're still dry. And this is a week from today, Friday the 15th. And again, the GFS continues the idea of a very high amplitude pattern. Big ridge in the west, big trough in the east, and very cold air uh, coming down through here. In fact, if this verifies, the Tennessee Valley could stay below freezing all day a week from today. But other models are not as aggressive with this. This is out 10 days. This is Monday the 18th. Again, uh, broad troughing over the east. That looks cold and dry. This is the snow output off the GFS Ensemble. You got 30 members, and many of them do print a few snowflakes here, the, the gray bars. But gray is not that much, and I think this is mainly for the chance of snow. And again, this is for Birmingham for some snow on the backside of that departing system early next week. Again, the better chance of accumulating snow should be north and west of Birmingham. Rain for the next 15 days, the ensemble mean about one inch. Temperatures, uh, again, it's obviously going to be cold through early next week. Now, 
The National Blend of Models here has a high of 55 on Friday of next week. The deterministic GFS suggesting the high might be 35. So there's a lot of uncertainty out there, but I do expect those numbers to come down. And this is the new CPC outlook just in. This is for the 16th through the 22nd. Temperatures near or just below average here across Alabama. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here for me, Monday morning at 7 o'clock. And if you can, watch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.